Okay, and while we wait for parts for the suspension, we are going to tackle the next issue, which is actually, I want to get it done so I don't need to have this bodged all the time. Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, the video today. Continuing to work on this 2006 Land Rover Discovery. Uh, L, I think the chassis is the L319. Uh, the car came with a few issues, so stay tuned for the other problems. Uh, but in this case, the issue is for uh, the following, which is going to be a quite easy fix, I hope. So when I turn my ignition on, it does the system check and then comes up with a bonnet open. So, even though the bonnet is fully closed, for this car, so the problem I was working earlier, which will be a video for it, I don't know which one is going to come out first, uh, was for the suspension. So he has all the suspension system that goes up and down, etc, etc. And um, you need to have all the doors locked or closed, sorry, including the bonnet for the system to actually activate the raising or lowering of the car. At least the raising, I believe the lowering is the same. Uh, and because he keeps saying the bonnet is open, he won't do it. So I'm now logged in into the body control module, live data, and as you can see in there, hood and tailgate input signals, and then that's for hood HR switch, if I'm not mistaken, or something along those lines. Hood HR switch, there we go. So hood, what have I done? Hood, which obviously is the bonnet. So, earlier to work on a car, I had to bodge this, as I was saying, and I'm going to show you uh, that I can change this quite easy to closed. Okay, just look at that uh, value that says on, which means would open. And as you can see, it changed to off, even though my bonnet is actually open. So I'll show you what I had to do earlier and what I've done now. So this is what I've done. So the switch for the bonnet leaves under this latch. It plugs right underneath there. There we go, that plug. So that's where it leaves. This is the plug. And all I've done is short this, so which means to me that when the bonnet is actually closing, uh, the actually micro switch underneath is not latching or is not closing, and therefore carry on saying the bonnet is open. So I think with not much other options, we are going to uh, we are going to remove this, perhaps, uh, and uh, and have a look at it. Okay, and I removed this front grille, quite easy, really. There is four tabs here. Then you have two on the underside, one there, and one there, and the wall thing just literally comes out. Um, gives you better access. This is already out. Now I'm gonna try to pull this switch out. It should come out with some tabs here at the back. There we go. So let's kinda try to pull it out. Okay, the switch is now removed. Uh, there is these two little tabs that you press and you slide it out. Uh, ooh, it's really difficult to press. It's covered in gunk. Oh dear. It's not very, very good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's covered in rubbish. Okay. Let's do something here. Let's plug this back in. Yeah, all, all done. It's definitely the micro switch. As I press these, depending on the pressure I put on it. Look at that. Can make it to just 
just a minute ago, a second ago actually. There we go, look at that. Yeah, let's kind of give it a good clean. Let's kind of give it a good clean and see if we can get this to work again. And look at that, looks like a brand new switch. So I put a little bit of grease there because it was a little bit dry. So let's plug it back in. And let's kind of look at my live data again. Oh. You might can't hear the click, but every single time, look at that. Beautiful. Looks like it's working spot on. We're going to give a little bit of cleaning on here and make sure, obviously, when this goes down, it's actually touching that properly as well. It's pushing this down properly. Okay. See, the problem with the grease, especially when you start to over grease these things, is that the grease actually sticks all the soil, etc., which creates this sort of paste that then does actually worse than good. Oh, Timmy. Oh my god, it's so stiff. So stiff. Oh. <sighs> I definitely need to clean this. Slightly different. I need to use a little bit of solvent to remove some of this crap. Okay, and that looks slightly better. So now, yes, we're going to lubricate this a little bit, uh, just with a little bit probably of silicone spray, just a tiny bit. Uh, but before that, we're going to put the switch back in here. Let me actually take it off from there. Let me turn this around so you can all see. Not the neighbor's window. Like this. Actually, I want to put a little bit on here. Where it touches. Cool. Now let's lock this in place. Oh my god. This is really difficult to push down. Actually, I did a mistake already, but it doesn't matter. All done. Okay, it's now closed, so it's latched right there at the bottom. Anyway, let's plug it in. Okay, so let me show you this. I'm not going to be able to show you everything most likely but you might be able to see on there let me hold on okay so you can see that 
So he says on and off, look at this. All I'm doing is push this, so it's off. You can see is this play here. So we need to take this off and gonna have to bend that spring behind just a tiny bit. I will show you. So we're going to have to push this up a little bit like so. Maybe a little bit more. Let's see what it does now. We still have this problem. Not really sure why. Let me see if I bend this slightly different. Okay, and after a little bit of messing about with this, I managed I managed to get this proper done. So if I take this off, obviously it opens the circuit. If I plug it back in. It goes off, and as you can see now, if I move this, doesn't matter what I move it to, it's always in the off position. So it's good. So if I unlatch this now, oh, there we go. Now I would push this back down, but it's so hard to do it that I'm just going to put everything back on. And then it will just dry this on the hood with the actually wood so uh, or the bonnet so yeah I just got to put everything back on and then we'll have a, a last test just one last test before we actually close the bonnet I'm gonna do it by hand so as you can see now is on I'm gonna push this down oh, there we go off and if I touch here underneath on the plug nothing really changed now I'm gonna open the thing again. On, there we go. Let's do it once more. Oh, there we go. Job done. That's gonna close this bonnet. Okay, and that's on again because I had to put the battery on charge. Obviously being there, looking at the live data, etc. For all that long, the battery went a little bit too low. Um, ideally, you would probably say, oh, how to replace that switch? Uh, yeah, if it fails again, then I think that's the next move. I'm not going to waste more time with it. But for now, it is working. I've extensively tested it and it's working every single time with no fail. Um, you find these suites on eBay for about 18 pounds or something like that. Um, don't know how much the dealer would charge. You can find just the actually plastic switch that slides into the latch. So yeah, I think. But I think the main thing here is, guys, is how you get to the problem. Although this is not, is nothing rocket science. But still, guys, hope there's some information on this video you can find useful. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.